Is there a new film starring Song Haikyuu and Gong Yu? Continue to watch and you will learn everything there is to know. Song Haikyuu will soon begin production on her first drama in more than two years. Encounter, the 39-year-old actor's most recent drama, premiered in 2018. After her high-profile divorce from Song Joong Ki last year, this will be the actress's first acting project. They began dating in 2015 while working on the hit series Descendants of the Sun, and they married in 2017. Their marriage, however, was short-lived, and they divorced less than two years later. Other than the fact that famed scriptwriter Kim Young Suk and director Ahn Jil Ho will be helming Haikyuu's upcoming drama, no other details have been released. Young Suk is the mind behind some of Korea's most popular dramas such as Descendants of the Sun, Goblin, and Mr. Sunshine, while Jill Ho's recent works include Memories of the Alhambra and Record of Youth. But of course, everyone's attention is focused on who will play Haikyuu's co-star in her big comeback. Because Eon Suk is known to work with actors she has previously cast, netizens have suggested Gong Yu and Lee Jong Suk as possible candidates. Actors such as So Ji Sub and Won Bin are also on their wish list, despite the fact that they have never worked with the writer before. Some internet users have also suggested that actors may be hesitant to work with Haikyuu so soon after her divorce because much of the public attention will be focused on how well she gets along with her leading actor. One netizen wrote, She's admitted to dating at least two other co-stars, Hyun Bin and Lee byung Han, in the past. Whoever works with her will undoubtedly be involved in relationship rumors. It's one thing to work with a great producer and scriptwriter, but having to deal with all the negative press surrounding after her divorce means that even an A-lister with a good reputation might end up being dragged down by her," another added. While fans of Song Song Couple, Song Joong Ki and Song Hai Kyo are outraged by the possibility of the actress being paired with Goblin actor Gong Kyu, many Korean drama fans are intrigued by the possibility of the two successful artists collaborating on screen. Song Haikyuu recently commented on the possibility of collaborating on a project. According to Korea Boo, Song Haikyuu admitted that despite years of working on Korean drama and films, she has yet to meet Gong Yu in person. It's ironic because both Song Haikyuu and Gong Yu are called classic K-drama stars, responsible for Endless Love, Full House, and Descendants of the Sun for the actress, and Coffee Prince, Big, and Goblin for the actor. The actress admitted that she admires Gong Yu's abilities and would be interested in working with him if the opportunity arouses with a good project. If there's a good opportunity, I'd like to work with him. The Descendants of the Sun star said. On the other hand, fans of Song Haikyuu and her Descendants of the Sun co-star and rumored boyfriend Song Jong Ki were concerned that the actress would choose to work with Gong Yu over the DOTS sequel previously planned by KBS. Shippers were especially concerned that a project involving the two veteran stars would spark a romance and derail the Song Song couple's rumored relationship. Gong Yu, for his part, discussed his newfound fame on an episode of CNN's Talk Asia interview show. According to CNN, while the actor is grateful for his success, he misses his normal life where he could walk down the street without being mobbed by fans. For most Hallyu fans, Descendants of the Sun represents a bygone era, a time when Netflix was not as easily accessible as it is now and television channels were still the primary source of entertainment. One of the first Korean dramas, it starred Song Joong Ki and Song Haikyo. Descendants of the Sun was an important landmark in the Hallyu wave for those who hadn't experienced the craze of Lee Min, Boys Over Flowers, and The Hears. Apart from Philippine and Vietnamese adaptations, the show had a pan-Asian broadcast, and Song Joong Ki and Song Haikyo achieved international acclaim. It gained a large fan base in China and was streamed more than 440 million times on the Chinese online video platform IQIYI. Even after that, the craze persisted. So the creators released special episodes with behind-the-scenes footage and highlights. Would you like to know what made their show so special? So keep an eye out! In order to know, click the subscribe button and enable notifications. As a result, you will never miss one of our videos. So what made the show so special? The beauty of many South Korean shows is that they know exactly how to appeal to die-hard romantics and mush and cheesiness lovers so they can get away with thin storytelling. Without a doubt, it works. Descendants of the Sun depicts an unlikely love story between a captain of the South Korean Special Forces unit and the steely-willed doctor. Yu Shi Jin is a tough soldier who risks his life and has to shoot down threats. She, Mo Yeon, believes in saving lives. 
the chemistry between Song Jong Ki and Song Hai Kyo dominates the show, even overpowering Hyun Bin and Song Ye Jin from Crash Landing on You, which had a similar arc. Perhaps it was Jung Ki's ability to deliver heart stopping romantic lines without making the audience cringe, his straight faced and deadpan humor combined with high dazzling Kyo's smiles and repartee. In fact, when asked about embarrassing lines in the script, Jong Ki told the Korea Herald, Some people think the script was cringe worthy, and I respect those points of view. That was not how I felt. I was confident in my ability to process the script and deliver the lines in my own unique manner. He was correct. He also expressed concern that viewers would not be able to relate to Si Jin and Mo's relationship. Yoon's the kissing scene between Shi Jin and Mo Young felt rushed to me. I assumed the viewers wouldn't be able to relate to a relationship that moved at such a breakneck pace. But I was mistaken. The audience adored it. Song Hai Kyo later stated, He played his role so well that it even made my heart flutter. When the drama aired after I finished filming in December, I watched it as a viewer and fell for his charms. After all, I'm relieved that the drama ended successfully. The chemistry between them was palpable. One particularly moving scene is when Shu Jin expresses complete trust in Mu Yan to complete surgery on a UAE prince, which could result in his dismissal from the army. It's the way they both look at each other as guns are drawn between the South Korean soldiers and the UAE guards. While K-drama couples have had their fair share of loving and intense scenes, DOTS remains an epoch because it featured actors who could communicate desire and understanding through their eyes. The declarations of love aren't exactly textbook either, but they hit hard. Yu Shijin, who has kissed a surprise Mu Yan, asks her in one of the pivotal love scenes, should I apologize or should I confess my love? He overhears an unintentional, hilarious confession of love made by her just as she thinks she's going to die, but she refuses to accept it. Later, on their way back to camp after navigating a minefield, she tells him gently that she wants to spend more time with him and not return to Seoul. She replies, That was my admission. Do I need to apologize? How do you know I'll accept your apology? He asks quietly. This time, the two of them share a good kiss. This was one of the best love confessions because it was fresh, superbly intense, and no words were wasted. The makers also did not rely on tricks like rain to emphasize the point or one of them being held at gunpoint. The usual sugariness of a K-drama was overshadowed by a powerful undercurrent of intensity. It wasn't saccharine or overly sweet, which isn't a criticism, but the chemistry felt that flammable. Even their reunion in the final episode in which Si Jung returns after being presumed dead had a similar tone. Again, not many words are spoken. Everything is said with a few tears and a quiet apology. The soldier's brotherhood, particularly Shi Jin and Dae Young, was also heartwarming to witness, enough to convince viewers of their implicit trust in one another. The sweet friendships between the doctors and the soldiers were equally heartwarming, and there were no messy love triangles. To fill plot gaps, use confusion fluff. Aside from stilted Americans and perplexing and muddled politics, DOTS didn't go beyond being a love story and all the seemingly troubling plot points were resolved within an episode. You knew that if someone caught a virus, they'd survive it. They'll survive with a bomb vest as well. Apparently, it's that simple to take down American gangsters. They can also withstand explosions and earthquakes of terrifying magnitude. The show's realism had the potential to be more powerful, but perhaps not everyone looks for that all the time when watching television. Sometimes you just have to take what you can get. And if that means Song Joon Ki and Song Hai Kyo sitting on a hay truck while professing their love, you take it. There's something special about watching your first Korean show, and despite its flaws and clumsy plotlines, Descendants of the Sun retains its allure today. That's all we've got for today. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content and up-to-date information. See you in the next video.